friends, this is Mary from Sharing Kindergarten. And today I'm going to show you something I made for some first grade teachers. I had a lot of requests for some computer center sheets for first grade. So I actually put some together and I'm really proud of them. I think they turned out really well. So what I did was, is I went to um, just my Teach Pay Teacher store and I pushed download now just because I've already, I'm the one who made it. Um, but if you've bought it, you can do that there too. And it's going to show up right here under a zipped file. So I'm on a PC. I'm not smart enough to do a Mac. It just confuses me. And I'm going to right click it and go to Extract All. And it's going to pull out all the files that I need. Now while it's doing this, let me tell you a little bit about Computer Center Sheets. This is something I came up with to help um, with computer time in my classroom. I was so tired of running to the computer and trying to solve a problem that I wouldn't let my kids go to the computer because I didn't want to deal with it. It was too much of a headache. It wasn't independent enough. All right, so when you get here, you're going to open this file up and you're going to see a lot of PDFs. So let me click on this so you can kind of see them. And you're going to see a how-to video right here and you're going to actually get some directions. Let me show you what they look like. Um, you're going to print these out and then you can put these by your computer to show your kids exactly how to do all this stuff and you're going to get a how-to guide. But all the rest of these sheets are actually math standards that you cover in first grade, but these are skill-based sheets to get your kids working on computer centers. So let me show you what we're going to do. I'm just going to open up one for addition and you're going to open this up on your computer at school and then you're going to go to view and you're going to go to full screen mode. Now there is a way to do this on a Mac. I just don't remember the steps, but I've had lots of people get this for Mac and it does work for them. But again, I'm not smart enough to do a Mac, so I can't tell you. All right, so again, it's going to tell you what it's covering up here. And it has on this specific sheet, eight different locations that you can go to. And it has a picture clue to help them. Because if you have multiple kids in a computer lab together, and somebody's playing a game, they're going to lean over to their friend and be like, hey, what game are you playing? I'm going to play that one. And you want them to be able to say, I'm playing that ladybug game. I'm playing that cat game. Or I'm playing that penguin game. So those are conversations that are I allow that I really like. They're fun. I also put the full hyperlink right here for you. I did that for a lot of reasons. If any site happens to be blocked at school, I want you to be able to know exactly what site that is so that you can ask them to unblock it. All of these sites are free websites, free resources that don't require a login, that don't require the students to do anything else but go to those sites. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this Penguin game. And you can tell, now you're going to see this. Let me put that on mute for a minute. Um, you could see the other screen I had up. I just clicked off of that. And it's going to pop your kids up with a game that they can play independently. So you can see they're going to be adding here, which is the skill you want. And I just turned it down so you could hear me. Now when they're done playing this game, what do the kids want to do? They want to go hit this red X and it used to be really scary. Well, not anymore. Now it's exactly what we want them to do. So you hit the red X and they're going to come right back up to this sheet. And then you're going to be able to let them go to any other one they want. I don't monitor which game my kids play because they're all working on addition, so it doesn't matter to me um, which game it is because they're working on that skill. And lots of kids like different games. So you can see that this game is a little bit harder, but it does give them some different um, clues and things they can work with. So this one does not allow if they get it wrong, which is fine. It allows you to try again and just some different things. Now they could still click any of these things on here. But from my experience, these little learners, when they're done playing the game, they want to go see what else is there, and they're going to hit that red X. So that's how it works. Now, I know what you're going to ask. Well, how do I get off of this? If you are, guys are done with computer centers and everything's over, you're going to push the escape key on your computer, and it's going to take you out, and then you can hit the red X, and you can pick a different one. Now, the last thing I want to tell you guys is, I added a lot of different standards in here that might not be Common Core. I didn't charge any more for the pack, 
but I felt that I needed to give you as many different math skills as possible. For example, we no longer in kindergarten have to teach time, but I still actually teach time. So I wanted to make sure that I included skills that my first grade team still teaches even though they're no longer required to. So you can see that time is on here. Um, I believe money is um, something else that Common Core took away, but I did include some money. But again, you're not being charged anything extra for these sheets. Um, I'm just giving these to you so that you have those extra skills. I really hope that you try Computer Center Sheets. I do have a freebie up that I will link that you can try it at your school and you can see if you like it. The last thing I do want to tell you is, if you choose to buy this for your classroom, um, you have the right to use this on all the computers in your own classroom. So if you have four computers in your classroom, yes, you can buy this with the same purchase, no additional licenses for all the computers in your classroom. Thanks so much. I really hope that you guys try these first grade computer center sheets. I think you're going to love them.